Welcome back to this spooky season. My name is Benjamin Graham III. Due to the small and unimpressed attitude you viewers had for the first spooky season episode, Zack has got it in his mind that it was all just a fluke and this one will be the one to put his team of Ostunters on the map. This time, Zack and his team will hunt down some of the most notorious ghosts the world has ever known. The ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Let's see if the Christmas spirit will be with you all, or will the Christmas spirits be scaring our not so brave hosts, for this spooky season. Welcome to the second part of the terrifyingly successful Spooky Season, part two. Tis a spooky season. I don't know why we're doing this again, but apparently, as most would know, there's this not very scary book uh, called A Christmas Carol. Yes. And in that book, there are three ghosts, Christmas past, present, and future. Even though, and, and these characters, which I will say again, fiction, 100% made up. No. Okay, Zach okay. is dragging me all the way out here in back at Robinson oh, yes. during break yeah. to hunt these ghosts down at like 3.50 p.m. p.m. The sun is out. Yeah, that's the best time to catch some ghosts. Am I ready? I, don't, I, think, I mean, I, I think so. I think every piece of like haunted ghost media states otherwise. Oh. oh, here it goes. I can already feel the spirit. Astute observation, my sexy ghost pal. So we're going to be conducting this investigation on the confines of Robinson Secondary School. Aren't we technically trespassing? <coughs> Sorry? Aren't we trespassing? It's like winter break, like I said, again. So our first conduction of this investigation will be conducted Wait. at this... What? The thing. What thing? The thing. What thing? Gotta... Thing. Oh, no. It's for... For journalistic sake. Okay. Last time we did this, we got some, like, fact-checking things wrong. Okay, so... About about Dennis, about Dennis the friendly ghost. Uh, Dennis died in 2005 after falling off the catwalk, not the genie. Yeah, but that doesn't even really matter because Dennis is just a really friendly ghost. And he was so happy to see that we did an episode on him, so it didn't even really matter. And he also said that you guys should subscribe and Wait, like no, the video. No, yes, he, yes, he did. No, he, he said you should subscribe and like no, the video and you should go and watch all the other no, he videos. he didn't say that. And he no, said, he, yes, we're he not did, putting words in his mouth. He's <laughs> he doesn't dead. have a mouth he's anymore. Dead. It we doesn't matter. First, we're going to conduct our first investigation to find the ghost of Christmas past at the old hanging... Wait, what? What? We have a hanging tree on school grounds? Oh, right, sorry. We have a Christmas hanging tree. So, why only in this area of school? Why would the ghost of Christmas past be here? Well, as you can see, this is the seventh and eighth grade locker bay. Okay, yeah, yeah. And what classes are on this side of the school? History. It has been said that the only way to bring out the ghost of Christmas past is to yell out lies about the universe. Facts that are so impossible to believe that the only answer for them is false. We shall now be conducting this experiment. I don't think you can hang someone from this. Shut up. Abraham Lincoln shot John Wilkes Booth! Water is wet! The moon landing was faked! Um... Uh, black Box is a good show! Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Zach Wilson is the best Black Box host! What? 
Aaron Eckloff is the best Eckloff. Uh, gr gr Greedo shot first. Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. <laughs> Who dare disturb my slumber on this starry night? Do you wish to speak to the god of history? I have another 12 days before the haunting commences. We need you to tell us where your brothers are. You wish to seek the apparitions of time themselves? Those of power so great, not even the most prestigious forces can evade them. We don't know where they are, but we need your help to find your brothers. Okay, shut up. Oh, what? So, what? Okay, so basically, we need you to get into this bag, all right? We need you to get into this bag wait. so you can help us lead us to your other brothers, all right? Well, okay, get in the bag. Wait, wait, hold on. This wasn't part of the plan. What plan? Touche. If you answer me one riddle from the past, I shall come with you. Okay. If you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, you haven't got me. What am I? A Ace. secret. What? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, a secret, right. Secret AIDS. Secret AIDS is the correct answer. Bro! What? Bro! Very well. What knowledge do you wish to learn? Well, okay. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, we'll be comfortable in there. Now we're gonna have to go find. Okay, good. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, Present is at the clock tower and future is at the spooky path. Ooh woo. Are you okay? That's his that's his guts, dude. That's his guts. Next up, the ghost of Christmas present. And who is the ghost of Christmas present? Well, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. And he takes your presents. Okay, so how long do we have to wait? Well, as long as it... What the... <laughs> Fake Santa, we got you now. Uh, identity theft is not a joke. No, you have to give us a present. That's a leprechaun, dumb. We're not gonna let you go unless you give us a weapon to kill your brother, Future. You guys are gonna kill Future? Yeah. Oh my God! Please, he scares the out of me. Here. What the? Oh my God! What? Are we allowed to have that on school grounds? I don't know. All right. Thanks for the present, Ghost of Christmas present. Goodbye. I can see my house from here. This is the point. Hey! You can't have that on school grounds. 
That's the path right over there where Christmas future is. Okay then. Let's go bust his nut. Bust the ghost. Stop. Once we cross this line, I don't know if I'm ever gonna see you again. Because Christmas future is gonna probably kill you. No, no, that's on school grounds. No, we can't. No! It's in the frame, it's in the frame, it's in the frame. Okay, he's in the frame. Come on, come on, come on. It's in the frame. It's in the frame. Okay. We now move on to the final ghost of Christmas time, the ghost of Christmas future. Do you know what he looks like? No. Oh my god, that's it. He's so intimidating. Oh, but, oh, oh my god! That's him! Oh my god! Wait, what's he doing? What's he? Oh my god! Oh my god! He, he's the one behind FCBS Twitter! You, you mean the, the Twitter that doesn't close school because it, it, it hates children happiness even though when it's obviously snowed outside? Oh that must my not. god! That's how it feeds off of fear and sadness! The weapon. The weapon. We need the weapon. No! Need no, the weapon. no! 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 We can't. It's not on school grounds. We're not on school grounds anymore. <laughs> wow. Um, good job, Aaron. That's the three for three. Wow. Thanks. I guess Buston makes you feel good. Yeah. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. You filthy animals. <gasps> Did the Black Box Boys actually encounter some of the most famous ghosts in fictional literary history? Or did the boys drink too much Coca-Cola and hallucinate the whole thing by beating up a bunch of random objects and possibly a random pedestrian in the woods? The answer is definitely the second one. Will the boys ever pay me for doing voiceover? Probably not, but I'm told that I need to ask questions at the end of the episode to make it sound more spooky. Anyways, tune in next time. Same black box time, same black box channel. This is BG3, signing off. Ho, 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 ho.